gonna be going over how to get that Larry June drum bounce. Let's get straight into it. All right, so last video, I showed you how to make this beat. Now I'm gonna go over the drums. I'm gonna play the sample if you haven't watched that video yet. like something real groovy and all these drums are gonna be in a kit it's gonna be in a free download all you gotta do is hit that link in the description and you got all these drums for free my guy all right so these are all the drums that i have in this project i typically start with the hi-hat kind of mimic a, like a kick drum just for a bounce you dig what i'm saying so It's like a little bit bouncier than the kick and the kick is right under it so you see how it's also complementing it playing off of it you know what i mean all you gotta do is find the pockets and find the bounce that you like with your hi-hats so that you know you add in your clap your clap is regular you know what i mean or everybody got the clap on you know what i mean the two and the four you could do a couple of things with the clap you dig what i'm saying you could add a lot of reverb you know what i mean with the effects but you could also like add them and do a clap roll you know what i mean a lot of west coast music got clap rolls in them so you could actually add that and i'll show you how to do that right now so all you have to do is go into your piano roll i usually use the same one and i just fill it in and after that all you have to do is right click and drag your mouse over your velocity and you get this build up clap effect All right, so next I bring in the symbol. All right, real simple, real simple. All right, so after that, I usually like to add more bounce with a tambourine, like, or a perk. Any perk you choose, you know what I'm saying? I usually use a tambourine. I put it on every beat, so it's a little bit more up-tempo, like you know something's happening, you know what I'm saying, for the hook, for the verse, just so you can have a little switch up in the beat. I thought that was cool, so I added a second tambourine to offset it, so it's just a little bounce, you know what I mean? It's like you do with your hi-hats and trap beats, you dig what I'm saying? You use two different hi-hats to give two different feels. That's what I did here. And it's also filling the pocket, so if you, if you look at it, right? So I'm gonna bring it up real quick. This is on every beat, so it's gonna be bouncy, you know what I mean? All you gotta do is figure out the philosophy so this is also in between the hi-hat so it's giving it a also bounce so you're filling in a pocket that wasn't filled before you know what i mean so look at the placement of your drums it's very important you know what i mean so like get that bounce or figure out your own bounce you know what i mean whatever pocket you see you could actually fill it in with something you know what i'm saying so keep that in mind all right so i have the stomp right there on the one just like a crash and um i use it as an alternate crash you know what i mean just if i'm in between the hook and the verse After that, I have a shaker. So it's bouncing off the kick. You know what I mean? Off the last kick. But also filling in a gap with the hi-hat. You know what I mean? So drum placement is also a thing. You dig what I'm saying? So just look at what you're doing so like when the hi-hat stops here i wanted to shake it there to fill that void you feel me and also like i know i'm trying to like fill up space but also i'm keeping it very spacious you dig what i'm saying like i don't use the shaker all the time because i also have a lot of tambourines going on you know what i mean so i just use it yeah you know i mean where you can feel it or and hear it you dig what i'm saying but also don't overcomplicate it you know what i mean yeah you know i mean these songs also kind of perk heavy you dig what i'm saying so you have to space it out and also make sure you pan them, make sure you play with the velocities and that also all helps within it. We got this clav perk.
and it's also playing off the hi hat. You know what I mean? Just filling in that pocket where there's nothing there. You know what I mean? Something real simple but effective. All right, so next I got the cowbell. So just filling in pockets where I see nothing is going on. You know what I mean? Just try to make it stand alone. You know what I mean? Make it put more emphasis on it. Dig me? I, I got this Vera slap. And this is just like the stomp. You know what I mean? Just something else I could put on the one that makes it exciting. All right, so the last perk that I have is um, a rim shot. All right, I love doing this with the rim shot. Yeah, I mean, it's it's real bouncy, man. All you gotta do is like the, it's like the clap trick I showed you earlier. Yeah, I mean, just building it up. I, instead of using the clap, I use the rim shot. And um, it just gives it a little more bounce. You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't know, I really like using it. Alright, so next I got the kick. And I usually keep it real simple with the kick, man. Nothing too crazy. Following the baseline and keeping it very simple because I still need somebody to rap on it and I have all these perks, so I don't want to fill it up with all these kicks. Alright, that's pretty much it for the video. Hopefully you found something useful. All these drums are gonna be in a drum kit called Something Slight. Drum kit from me to you, free of charge. All you gotta do is hit that link in the description. Make sure you hit that like button if I'm doing a good job. Make sure you comment below if you wanna see something different and make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and with love.